Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a special unboxing video of everything that was donated to the channel in the month of March 2019. And oh my gosh, I got some stuff, a lot more than I was expecting. Now this does not include the stuff that was sent to me for my birthday uh, by Brandon Knight. I already opened that in a live stream because he told me to. Uh, but this is everything else that was sent to me in March. Uh, I want to go through all of this and the first thing I'm going to show you is something pretty big. It is a painting. It is a portrait of me and Mrs. HCC788 as Cobra Commander and the Baroness. This is from Lance Toth. Uh, some of you may remember Lance. He did the painting for the um, for the bridge layer review, uh, the review that I did with Kevin Maley. Uh, he's the one who did that awesome painted artwork uh, on the title card. Uh, so thank you, Lance, for that, and thank you for this. You know, it's... I, I, I never exactly know how to react when somebody like does artwork of me. Um, it's a little unusual. That's not something that most people have done. So I'm always extremely humbled and flattered. Uh, Lance has a uh, an inscription here on the back that says uh, Lance Toth 2019. Uh, for HCC 788, uh, Brian, uh, hope you enjoy this as much as I enjoy your channel. I do enjoy it very much, so thank you. And thank you for making me um, uh, the commander, uh, the ruler of all. I appreciate that. Uh, and, and I believe technically I outrank uh, the Baroness, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so thank you, Lance. And Lance does have a letter. I want to be careful with that. I don't want to damage it. Um, Lance does send a letter. Uh, it's fairly long, but let's get through it here. Um, dear ACC, if that's who you really are and not some Fred posing as a retired Cobra commander, I'm not telling. Because uh, we all know that doesn't turn out well in the end. That's true. Just kidding. Hope you uh, got the humor in that and it wasn't uh, too far out of their joke. I got it. I got it. Um, it took a long time, but finally decided to call the painting I started of you uh, so long ago finished. Uh, I had a difficult time painting your face. This face. It's very difficult to capture on canvas. Um, hard to look at you for such a long time. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, I've had to do that myself. Um, uh, I think I got it the best I can. Thank you. Um, however, uh, you feel. Uh, hopefully you feel the same way. It's okay if you don't think it's a good representation of you or your wife. I can take the criticism and the truth. Uh, you'll have to let me know what you think. I do like it. Thank you. Um, I've been watching the channel for the past four years and I'm impressed with how uh, you have perfected your style. Still working on it, but I'm trying. Um, you put uh, out so much content, it's hard to keep up with it all. Well, that's, you know, I do push out a lot of stuff, uh, so hopefully at least you like some of it. Uh, I know that the stuff that I put out, not everybody's going to watch every video, but I like to have stuff for, out there for you to watch, you know. I, don't, I like to, you know, keep uh, giving you something new. Uh, my job starts at 1 a.m., so I'm always missing the live stream on Tuesday nights. Sorry about that. You're not the only one. I, I wish I could um, do it maybe at a different time for some people, but right now that's just the only time that it's been available. Uh, but I catch it on the flip side on Wednesday morning. Uh, thanks for all the fun entertainment over the years. You're welcome, and thanks for sticking with me, Lance. Uh, you're very clever in your skits. I particularly like the Andy Kaufman reference. Okay, all right. Thank you for getting that. Um, you seem to embark on a mission to bring the YouTube community together. In doing so, you've introduced me to comic tropes. I very much enjoyed uh, Chris's uh, insight on the characters I grew up reading about, along with the knowledge he has of the artists and writers. Uh, two of you should review a G.I. Joe comic together. Hmm? Good idea. I also like comic tropes. He's a really cool guy, cool YouTube channel. Unless uh, you have it, I missed that. Speaking of uh, communities, I bet you are excited for Joe Fest. I am excited for Joe Fest. I truly planned on coming to Joe Fest this year, but I lost my father and I had to use that vacation time to help my mom and brother deal with the things uh, uh, back in my hometown. Well, that's understandable and my condolences for your loss. Uh, I think it would be fun to meet you face to face. I hope we can someday. In closing, uh, please do me a favor. If you truly do not like the painting, which is okay if you don't, uh, please do not show it uh, in your unboxing video. Well, I just showed it. Um, the painting uh, was a thank you for the opportunity you gave me uh, to paint a thumbnail for one of your videos. Uh, that painting uh, put me back uh, into the swing of things uh, from such a long struggle, struggle to get back into painting. Uh, and you know what? Good job. Great job. Um, and 
sometimes life can be a struggle like that and you just have to keep pushing forward. Uh, and for that, I'm grateful. I'll leave it up to you if you want to share it. So enjoy and keep pumping out great content, Lance Toth. Thank you very much, Lance. Uh, thanks for the painting. Thank you for the kind words in the letter. And as always, I'm keeping all of these letters. Uh, I have an envelope for them, and every single one of these letters will be kept. Uh, so thanks, Lance. Thanks for the painting, and thanks for the kind words, and thanks for all of the support over the last few years. Okay, what shall we open next? Uh, we have uh, this one that says Fragile. Um, and, oh, I know what this is. Uh, this is from Mike Lopez. Uh, Mike Lopez, uh, as you may know, sent me the boxed Sea Ray to open and has sent me a lot of parts for the, uh, the Defiant Space Shuttle, which I'm still trying to complete. And he sends some Defiant fins that are intact, intact, not broken. Uh, little tabs are still there, and so that's, that's a frequent break point. Uh, so thank you to Mike Lopez for this and for all of your help. It's very much appreciated. Uh, the guy has helped out in a lot of ways. And thank you for this. Still working on that Defiant. Still have a ways to go, but, you know, making progress inch by inch. Doing this box next because it was on top. And this is from Byron Kellogg, longtime friend of the channel. Uh, thanks, Byron. Uh, and uh, there's another thing from Byron here. Um, so we have two things from Byron. Uh, he also sends a letter. Now I have read this letter uh, and some of it is quite personal so I won't share the entire letter uh, but I just wanted to say thank you Byron for that. Um, and I want to show you what he sent. Now this is really cool and interesting. I have looked at it. I did peek to see what it was. And this is a 3D printed Cobra Throne for Cobra Commander. Uh, it looks like it's the perfect size for the vintage action figures. And yeah, here this is another 3D, 3D printed piece. Uh, I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little better uh, because these are cool. Um, if I can get the bag open, there we go. And I, I'm not going to take all the pieces out because I don't want to lose them. But this is like a podium for Cobra Commander giving a speech to the troops. And there is, oh, snapping bubble wrap, there we go. Um, there is the Cobra Commander throne. Uh, so these would be awesome for dioramas. Now they are 3D printed and they are white, but uh, looks like they could easily take uh, paint if you uh, wanted to paint these another color. Um, and I may do that. I don't do a lot of customizations in dioramas, but these just might be worth it. Um, but, because uh, uh, because they're just so cool. Um, it's like um, the throne is especially interesting. It's got the cobra head. Uh, it also has the globe on this side uh, because Cobra Commander does want to conquer the world. Uh, so thanks for these, Byron. And this is actually a birthday card from Byron. Uh, my birthday was a couple weeks ago uh, on the 15th of March and I got some cool stuff for my birthday and this really nice card from Byron. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of a joke uh, since I am a lawyer. It's, it's kind of a, a lawyer joke. Uh, but uh, he did write something in here. And again, this is going with all of the letters that I receive. I'm keeping all of those uh, and this will go with it. Um, it says, hey B, you couldn't pass uh, this card up if there, uh, if ever, if there ever was a card meant for uh, an individual, uh, it's this. I hope it's. I hope this birthday birthday is enjoyable. I know that you enjoyed watching. Uh, I know I enjoyed watching you age in your videos. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I'm. I've seen my old videos. I can see how much I've aged, and it's only been almost five years. Amazing how much you can age in five years. Um, you are one of the best friends that I've had the pleasure of knowing. Thank you very much, Byron. Byron, also a very close friend of mine. Um, here's to you and many happy birthdays. Thank you very much, Byron. Um, I did open that for my birthday and I enjoyed that very much. And um, uh, at risk of, uh, of uh, Byron's embarrassment, I wanted to share it with you. So that was very kind. Thanks, Byron. Okay, this is from John. It just says John. Uh, John is from Long Beach, California. Uh, and um, I don't see a letter from John in here. Now, John, if you sent a letter and um, I, it's not here, I apologize. Uh, I may have taken the letter out and read it. 
uh, and then not put it back in. But I don't recall a letter being with this. Uh, but at any rate, thanks, John, for sending this from Long Beach, California. Um, and it is, looks like a couple things. One of those things, let me zoom in a little bit, is... Uh, this is a modern spirit uh, with the Slaughter's Marauders colors. So it's like a modern Slaughter's Marauders spirit, which is really interesting. Let me, there we go. There we go. Now, I don't recall if this was one of the convention toys or not. Um, and what's amazing is I still don't even have the vintage uh, Slaughter's Marauder spirit. So uh, this is one of the very few modern figures uh, that I have uh, before the vintage figure. So uh, really cool. Um, and oh, well, yeah, I wanted to see this. Yeah, he, he does have his eagle. Now, this is one maybe I should do a comparison because I did a... Um, compare and contrast between the vintage and modern uh, spirit action figures. Um, well, when I get the Slaughter's Marauders version of Spirit, um, maybe I should do a side-by-side -side comparison of these. So, uh, thank you, John. Uh, and there's one other thing in this envelope. It is... Um, this is... What is it? It's in Japanese. Oh, Thunderbirds. It's like a it's like a Thunderbirds thing, like a Thunderbirds cutout thing from Takara. I'm sorry, let me show you instead of just talking about it. Yeah, see, and the whole thing is all of it's in Japanese. Um, that is really cool. I don't know if this is a thing to open or not. Um, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I can feel something inside of it. It's like a blind bag. Um, Nutrition facts. It has nutrition facts on here. So I believe I'm supposed to open it and eat it. So I probably will. I won't do that right now. Uh, but for right now, I just wanted to say thank you, John, for sending these. Um, and uh, yeah, whenever I get the vintage Slaughter's Marauder Spirit, um, I will do a side-by-side -side comparison with this one. So thank you for that. And next, we're almost done, almost done, but we still got a couple boxes left. This is from Robert Perky, um, and I know what it is because he told me he was gonna send it. Uh, so uh, this is a bunch of the Find Your Fate books for G.I. Joe. Uh, and there is a letter in here. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I should have my reading glasses. Uh, Robert says, hello HCC788, hello. Um, I have been watching your show now for the better part of a year and now, and I enjoy it a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, while watching your show, I remember all the fun I used to have with my friends as a kid. Thank you for doing the show. Uh, thank you for watching. Recently, my wife had me condense my book collection. I must have gotten rid of over 200 paperback books. I've had to do that before, so I understand. Um, uh, uh, when I found these on the shelf, I just knew, uh, ju knew just where to send them, uh, where they would be appreciated. Yes, yes. Um, I also thought they could make good, a good activity on a live stream or something, letting everyone vote on what paths to take. Good idea. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to see if I can do that. That's uh, that's uh, not not a bad idea. Uh, anyway, thank you for what you do, your friend Robert Perky. Thank you, Robert. Um, and let me show you these. Uh, these are, now you may or may not be familiar with these, I just, I'm familiar with them. I do remember with them when they came out, um, and I think I had a couple of them. Uh, these are the Find Your Fate books, uh, kind of like a choose your own adventure kind of thing, uh, where you, you have to, um, you know, at the end of the page it gives you a couple options to try, um, and, you know, you turn to the... Whichever you, option you want, you turn to that page to find out what happens and that kind of thing. Uh, so uh, these are awesome. And the um, cover art on a lot of these books are just just amazing. Really nice roadblock and, uh, and blowtorch and the Baroness there. Uh, really nice painted artwork. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's just a really good um, painting of bazooka and snow job um this one's oh yeah flint and breaker and snake eyes really nice um yeah the cobra stun we got some vehicles there nice action scene uh this one is oh shipwreck uh and the gi joe shark uh just really nicely done 
uh, nice snake eyes with with a tiger oh and storm shadow um, so uh, these are, are awesome and I'm going to read them and I will also consider doing that uh, idea that you had of doing them on a live stream because I think that could be fun um, so uh, yeah good idea and thank you very much for these Robert uh, these will go to some good use and last but not least this box uh, from Lee S. Gregor uh, and let's open it up and see what's inside and it is a game it is a G.I. Joe board game make sure I didn't lose any pieces in there uh, this is the uh, G.I. Joe Real American Hero Adventure board game now um, I have a, the like the live your adventure game um, and um, like the Cobra missile attack game uh, but I didn't have this game before this one's a new one uh, I've not played it yet but um, I did open it up because I wanted to see the pieces oh and we have a letter like I said I did open this up before because I wanted to see what the pieces look like um, and it says um, just a reminder of of the Find Your Fate R.L. Stein book is in the extra uh, space in the of the box. Oh, okay. There's an R.L. Stein Find Your Fate book um, in the extra space of the box. I hope this is worthwhile uh, of your collection. Okay, okay. Well, I opened this, but I did not see the book. Um, apparently, I should check a little more thoroughly, huh? Uh, so we've got some game pieces and some packing material and well what do you know right there look at that another find your fate book and this one is by none other than rl stein uh that is awesome so um yeah like i said i did open this but i didn't look in that little space and i hadn't read your letter um so awesome uh, so I'm going to put this with the other Find Your Fate books, and uh, we may have to do these on a live stream, or at least one of them. So, um, yeah, this awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, um, yeah, let me pull this packing material out. Make sure I don't want to lose anything in case anything is in there. Um, but we've got, like, uh, these cards that say, like, equipment and battle, uh, and we've got... Uh, some little stands here. Uh, we've got a pair of dice, uh, we've, and we've. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. We've got our game pieces, which includes like uh, the artwork for the characters. There's uh, Breaker and Stalker. I would play a Stalker, of course, because he's my favorite. Um, and uh, so now this. Oh yeah, the, and the game board. Oh, and the instructions. Instructions always important. And. Yeah, and that's the game board. Um, so, like, it's got start here, and it's got like the Pentagon. Um, it's uh, the, well, Fort Wadsworth. Hey, you know, with the GI Joe continuity, Fort Wadsworth. Uh, and apparently, you got a oh there, and there's Cobra Island. This is kind of cool. This is like uh, Desert Kingdom, Cobra in the Desert Kingdom, and ambush path. Uh, but this is like. This has got a little bit of the, the comic book continuity here. So I will absolutely uh, will play this game. I want to try it and see if it's fun. Um, and so uh, thank you very much for sending this and, and the R.L. Stein Find Your Fate book. Uh, awesome, really awesome stuff. Thank you. That was everything that came in in March. Thank you, everyone who sent stuff. Uh, once again, I want to reiterate, uh, you don't have to send stuff to me. I do appreciate it when you do. If you do send something to me, I will put it on a video like this so everyone can see and so I can express my appreciation. Uh, if you do want to send anything, uh, I have a P.O. box. I will put it on the screen right now uh, so you can see send uh, any kind of donation that you want to that P.O. box uh, and you know I'll get it and I'll open it up uh, on camera here so thank you everyone uh, it, some really heartfelt stuff here sent to me and some uh, some stuff from some good friends some longtime friends of the channel and some new folks uh, who are uh, getting involved and I, I am thrilled um, I, I'm more thrilled to have you guys you know, involved and interacting uh, than even receiving the stuff. I'm just happy to have you here with me. So uh, thanks for that. Um, I'm going to get right to work on another vintage GI Show toy video. 
I got a lot to do, but I wanted to take a break. I wanted to show you this cool stuff. Um, the letters that were sent to me, I have nicely tucked away here, and those will be, be saved. I save all of those letters, uh, and I will never let those go. So uh, thanks for the memories, everyone. Thanks for all of this, uh, th these donations. And um, if I get any in April, I will do another one of these videos at the beginning of uh, June. But if not, then I won't. So, you know, I don't always get stuff. But if I do, I will absolutely make a video. Uh, so I will see you guys soon for a G.I. Joe toy review. Uh, thanks, everyone. And I'll see you next time.